Hello and welcome to another episode of Following Fade Street. In this instalment, Rosanna says this. Opening of an envelope to a <laughs> Lee says this. I like a woman with a big appetite. Yeah. And Danny's hair looks like this. Yeah, same. While out for a leisurely lunch, Roz and Louise bump into Roz's friend, Lee. Lee soon starts chatting about his plans for... Call Urban Market. Uh, it's kind of like a new food concept with bars, restaurants... Yeah, yeah, we get it. This is Fate Street, not Plug Street. Jesus. Lee then takes Louise on a tour of the building, says... Dark trade. A lot. And talks about his plans to uh, create a dog-friendly restaurant, which sounds extremely unhygienic. Meanwhile, in Dublin Inc., Johnny offers Danny and her mysterious off-screen boyfriend, Rakan, a chance to stay in his flat. Two things. We're starting to think that Rakan is a figment of Johnny's and Danny's imagination because we never see him on screen. And also, is Johnny really ready to live with Danny? She can be a bit of a handful. Who do you think you are like? Seriously? Just saying. Later on in this episode, Louise heads for dinner with Lee to discuss doggy dinners, business plans, Arca, whatever it's called. Arca trade. It's a scintillating scene and we've got some extra surprise footage that you may enjoy. Thanks for coming. We're looking at a, a few different concepts of also that it's a case that it's on the map as yeah. one of the Dublin stops yeah. in Dublin tourism. Okay, Lee, like, I don't want to be, like, rude or whatever, but tourists are great. So, I think you should tap into, like, what's really, like, big at the moment, like, emigration. You seem uh, very strong-headed, if you don't mind me saying, and you seem to really have your head and your shoulder for 23. Well, Lee, I've always been a business hat. I used to sell knock-off handbags out of a van and along my road when I was seven. Don't ask me how I got the van. Let's just say I had a balaclava, some ambition, and leave it at that. And what's your plan then at the moment? You're saying about like a lot of friends, you don't know what the future is. I mean, what's your future? Well, and I'm kind of enrolling in the school of life, if you know what I mean. As in, I spend all day on Facebook in my pyjamas, watching Judge Judy and crying down the phone line to potential employers. If you were to set up your own business, you could afford to run it at probably um, a lower rate. That's interesting. Like, I do have a lot of those handbags left. I could call them like a vintage and sell them out of like a van. I could you know. sit here and I could pick at your brain all night. Ew, that is such a gross visually. I mean, come on. It's not a saw movie, it's dinner. I'd say pretty much I'm saying you're on board. Congratulations. Yeah. Mary Lee, congratulations to you. Congratulations to you. Louise there proving that she's just like Bill Colden but with better dress sense and a bigger set of jokes. We'll be back tomorrow for more awkward dinner dates mysterious hair choices and all the funny bits in between. See you then. Shut up, that's awesome. That's awesome.